with his tumble dryer. Lucky man. Meet our next contestant, Manda, with a rundown of the qualities she feels she's bringing to the Total Wipeout course. I'm tactless, I'm argumentative, I'm jolly, and I'm always late. And she's also a 35-year-old barber from Somerset. Being a barber, Manda should be used to rollers. <laughs> you see, rollers are... Yeah, okay. Oh, she fell in. On to the sucker punch now. Yes, let's not get too cocky. Premature celebratory dance there. Let's hope the wall doesn't wreak its revenge. Oh, I did it right on the bonds. Ow! Stick to haircuts, Manda. No good with uppercuts. And I'm joined now by Dan. So, Dan, um, tell me where you live. I live in the woods, in a treehouse with dwarfs. It's true. I love you. I love you too. I'm Dan the Ginger Ninja, and I'm going to tackle this course. Yeah! So the self-proclaimed Ginger Ninja sets off head first, which is his first mistake. He's gone. He's back. Onto the first pontoon, and away towards the rollers. <laughs> well, yes. Dan could be a lumberjack. Log rolling skills, check. Substantial beard, check. Check shirt, not check. I'm confusing myself now. Wow, that was impressive. This could be the time to beat. Onto the sucker punch. Dan teaches survival skills for a living. He should be able to avoid a few plastic punching bags. <laughs> or not. A thing of beauty. Sucker punch and ginger ninja uniting in perfect harmony. With a punch to the face. Yeah, he didn't survive that. So it's on to the big balls. Helmets falling apart. Ginger power, Dan! Oh. <sighs> big red balls. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I love this guy as well. <laughs> the ginger ninja takes a bath. And here comes the bubble bath. Can he do it? A swing and a land in the bath. Here we go. Yes! A perfect landing, the first today. As he's landed in the donut, the clock stops. 1 minute 43 is the best so far. So I'm joined at the top of the course now by Carla. And Carla, you're a DJ. So will you uh, be spinning your way round the course today? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to fly through this course today um, with the help of my spirit guide, Crystal Vale, who is an ancient Egyptian belly dancing spirit who dances in my body sometimes. So I'm hoping while I'm doing the course, Crystal Vale's energy Crystal is going to come, come in and help come make in that and jump and that jump and that, jump and that, and that swing that I need to do to get through to the final. Is Crystal Vale making an appearance at the moment? Should I be looking out for her or...? She's in the trees at the moment. Yeah! There she is. I went to a party like that once. Right, let's see if Carla's spirit guide, Crystal Vale, can help her over the locks. <laughs> Didn't help her onto the pontoon, but she's up. OK, a bit of support now would be good. Oh, that's a no-show from Crystal Vale. Yeah, swim back to the start. This is 19-year-old Emma, our seventh contestant. This is for my family and friends back home. Watch me kick some butt! All right. Emma's a kickboxer from Northern Ireland, so she should have the agility, focus and raw power required to get across those logs. Once she's got onto the pontoon here. They're, they're waiting. The rolling logs, Emma. The first obstacle over there. If you get onto the... that's the path you're trying to get... oh. Almost a minute in now, and we are at the first obstacle. The rolling logs. Here we go! Oh. <laughs> Emma called it a day after just one log, which is a total wipeout record. But that one log... What a log it was. Let's take a look where everybody is on the leaderboard. Of those who actually finished, Dan the Ginger Ninja is in first place, followed at some distance by Manda and Carla. 
Carrie Ann, Gentle Giant Dicky, and Shrieking Laura are in fourth, fifth, and sixth, but I'm guessing not for long as we meet our next contest. This is 20 year old Joe from London who's told us it's his destiny to win Total Wipeout. Let's see if fate wants him to get across the rolling logs. He's on the first. Looking good, that's smooth. Whoa! Ooh. He's onto the third one. How did he do that? Come on then, Destiny Joe. This might just be the week. Maybe someone's going to make it. Come on, Joe. It's your destiny to be here. It is my destiny. Hold on, Joe. Hold, hold, hold. Oh! Poor Joe. Wasn't his fault, though. It was Destiny's. Next to tackle the qualifier is Barry from County Durham. He's a builder, he's hard as nails, and he's a granddad? He is. Hi, I'm Barry Brown, and this course is going down. Shoot that, bigger. Barry has to be the hardest-looking granddad I've ever seen. He's built like a brick retirement home. Come on, pass that. Onto the rolling logs. What's your granddad? A steady start on the logs from Action Grandad, but he's looking good up there. Amazing, keeping his balance. Got a transfer now from second to third. Will he do it? That's astonishing. He's across. Must be all the cod liver oil. Four gallons a day, maybe. It's Barry versus the Sucker Punch. Watch out, Wall. Barry is the sort of contestant that might just punch you back. That's the I think he's going to. And he makes it across! Incredible stuff from Barry. This is how the qualifier's done. Just the balls now. Oh dear. <laughs> Such a letdown. It's all so promising. I wonder if 29-year-old personal assistant Natalie Tapper can better action Grandad on the balls. Okay, Natalie, here we go. Breathe, focus, jump. No, oh, that must have hurt. Type this up for me, would you please, Miss Tapper? Thank you. I hear that you're dad and you have a son at home. Now, is he as excited as you are? Uh, he probably tops me, actually. He is really excited and he's given me tips as well. What kind of tips has he got? giant balls he's actually said what I'm to do I'm not allowed to try and run across it I've got to try and jump on it and spread myself on it and that's it nothing else great advice from 41 year old Daz's son Daniel jump and spread jump and spread so here we go jump spread oh oh you're not having me it worked jump and oh where was the spread I think it's his face spread all over that ball. <sighs> Great strategy from young Daniel there. Bad execution by Dad. Sorry, Daniel. Let you down. This is 28-year-old Eloise from London. What do you think her job is? Clown? Kids entertainer? Monkey impersonator? No, obviously, Eloise is a doctor. I, for one, am slightly worried. <laughs> Doctor, is there anything you can take for that? <laughs> Let's see if her banana diet will help her across the rolling logs. Looking good, balanced, in control. Whoa, clear! After a fantastic run, all Dr Monkey has to do is land in the bubble bath. Uh, and she doesn't. You have to let go, Eloise. This isn't a, that's not a tyre swing. It's not just Heloise. The 